Where focus goes, energy flows. If you want to improve, if you want to reach all the goals you've told yourself you'd like to achieve, you got to start eliminating all the things that don't support the direction you're trying to go. The path to greatness demands an unyielding focus and discipline. It's about daring to push beyond your limits, fighting relentlessly for your dreams. Your legacy is shaped by the intensity of your desire and the consistency of your focus. This isn't about idly waiting for the perfect moment or for things to fall into place. It's about waking up each day with the determination to dominate that day more than any other. Drill into your mind that you're in control and you're the one who will make things happen. Be unapologetically savage about your dreams. If something or someone doesn't contribute to your growth or add value to your journey, consider it dead weight and let it go. This includes negative people, bad habits, and time-wasting activities. Remember, you don't have time for anything that doesn't help you grow and achieve your goals. When you're great, you don't just focus on the year. You don't just focus on the month. You don't just focus on a week. You focus intensely on the 24 hours in front of you and work as hard as possible to nail it. When you give up, your mind thinks it's over, so it stops growing. There's no development when you give up, but when you can say, screw this, this is awful, I'm overwhelmed, I'm in pain, I'm struggling, I'm hurting, but decide not to leave, your mind gets the message. It realizes he's sticking around, so we need to adapt, we need to improve. That's when different parts of your brain kick into gear. You start using parts of your mind you never used before, especially when you're struggling and you refuse to quit. You have to direct your brain and tell it where you wanna go and how you plan to get there. I've learned that if I keep pushing, keep returning to the challenge, your mind understands, all right, we gotta work this out because he is not giving up. You gotta quit quitting. Quitting should be off the table. You have to not allow it to be an option. Any route you choose to reach your goals, if that goal is worth reaching, will be damn tough. So stop basing your decision to quit on how hard the task is. Every single path leading to where you wanna be will be challenging. Struggle, frustration, these are indicators that you're on the right track and making headway. No one who's where you wanna be got there without these struggles, without fighting, without pain, without feeling low, nobody. And if you aim to achieve greatness, you need to embrace the struggle as a necessary ingredient. But most people get distracted on their way to success. They start the discipline routine, eating right, doing the workouts, doing the self-development, but then they get pulled off course by the distractions around them. Do not allow that to happen to you. You have got to be relentless in your focus. You got to be starving to change your life and block out everything else that doesn't support the vision. In the world we live in now, you'll be endlessly bombarded with streams of social media, the relentless noise of the internet, the constant pull of just mindlessly scrolling, but you've got to resist to stay sharp. Think of your focus like a muscle, just like lifting weights in the gym, you gotta train it. It's about saying no to the unnecessary, sh all the time wasters that eat away at your productivity. It's about discipline, about choosing what deserves your attention and what doesn't. To sharpen this weapon, you gotta stay self-aware of what you're concentrating on. That means living in this very moment without getting lost in regrets or things you could have done better in the past or worries about the future. It's about being fully present in whatever you're doing right this second and giving it your absolute all. The combination of desperation and hunger with laser focus is the formula to be great at something. This formula is the cornerstone of mental mastery. And the only way you prove to yourself that you really want it is that you no longer hit the snooze button. You no longer lose focus when you're studying. You no longer take shortcuts. You are willing to do whatever it takes. Proving to yourself that you want your dream is about demonstrating control over your mind in every aspect of life, from the moment you wake up to the way you approach every task and challenge. 
You're setting the example every single day of your life. When you build this mental toughness by looking at every little thing as a test of your will and your ability to do what you say you're going to do, your life is going to get better. You don't get here by quitting when you're tired. You get here by quitting when you're finished, when you reach completion, when you've executed. This level of commitment is what separates those who simply envision from those who achieve. If you're determined to win, to reach paradise, your every moment must reflect that commitment. Pack your calendar with actions that drive you towards your goals because it's in this relentless pursuit that your dreams transform into reality. And yes, it's tough. It's tough to tune out the noise, to shut off the distractions, to really hone in on what's important. But that's what separates the successful from the unsuccessful. The ability to focus, to keep your eyes on the prize. That's what will get you to where you want to be. Most people go through life never discovering what their talents are. Most people never develop their talents. They have skills and abilities, but if you don't nurture them, if you don't develop them, they will never serve you. Your gifts can take you many places if you develop your gifts. And you'll be surprised at the things that you're able to do. When you learn how to block things out, when you learn how to keep that eye single, learning how to concentrate, learning how to focus in, deciding that you're going to focus to develop your skills. You'll be surprised of the ideas that will come to you, of the people that you'll be able to attract, of the opportunities that you'll be able to see. You'll begin to see things that have been staying there looking you in the face saying, I can't believe this has been here all this time. But you can learn all the techniques in the world. If you don't believe in yourself, it won't happen for you. You've got to focus on you. And as you convince you, as you sell yourself, every day, every day, every day, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Selling yourself on your ability to perform a job, to achieve a certain objective, telling yourself every day, here I go again, and I got what it takes. This is my day, and nothing out here is going to stop me. Decide that you're going to push yourself you have something that you brought to the universe and that if you decide that my life deserves my developing this what I do well and becoming the best at it and mastering myself and seeing what I have within me, I grant you that your gifts will take you places that will literally amaze you. And many of you cannot get to your level of success. You cannot get to dominance because you are worried about everything that's coming in your ear, guys. You got to learn to kill the noise. Who cares what they say? Dominance. Who cares what they think? Dominance. Listen to me. Nothing succeeds like success. You want to kill your haters? You want to shut them down? You want to kill the noise? Nothing succeeds like success. And I'm telling you, if you can learn to kill the noise and dominate your space, your lane, stay in your lane and dominate your lane. I'm telling you, not only will you compete, not only will you dominate, but you, my friend, will leave a dynasty. I dare you to dominate. I challenge you to find your space, stay in your space and create something in your space that has never been created before. Control your lane. I dare you to believe in your uniqueness. I dare you to believe in you. I dare you to stand up for yourself. I dare you to dominate your space, your world, and to leave a legacy. Download this video and audio by becoming a member at benlionelscott.com. Plus, get early access to all new content and hundreds of exclusive videos.